What's good, y'all? Welcome to Ready Taper. Today, we'll be talking about a lot of news that's going on within Red Nation in the last 24 hours. Honestly, man, we traded the player, released a surprised guy, maybe not so surprising to some, but we also lost a player to IR that was going to be a major piece in this depth rotation that we just picked up. So we can't catch a break. And also, there's a guy out there that we could trade for. A guy that could really step up our right tackle position, familiar with his coaching staff. And we're going to talk about all this in today's episode. So if y'all can, make sure to hit that like button, rate the like button, make a play. Y'all know how to do it, man. Hit the subscribe button as well if you want to see more videos like this. Also, check out Redemption Brand if you want to cop some dope caps like this. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. Let's jump into it. So first things first, Nick Mullins gets traded to the Minnesota Vikings, and it's not to our surprise. One of these quarterbacks were going to end up going, Jared Stidham or Nick Mullins. Nick Mullins ends up getting traded to the Vikings after we played the Vikings, and only rightfully so because the Vikings got issues at the quarterback position. And Nick Mullins will probably go in there and end up being their QB too. Let's be honest. He is a lot more experienced than both of those guys put together he's played in one NFL games and he's gone out there and he's whooped us before so we've seen what Nick Mullins is capable of and we end up getting a conditional seventh round pick now that seventh round pick could waver you never know what will happen with it it could end up being uh, nothing we could end up giving him up for nothing because if he doesn't make the team then we don't get anything and it's good to trade these players like we did with Tyree Gillespie because instead of just cutting these guys and not getting anything, any compensation whatsoever, we go out there and we trade them and we pick up some draft picks. And, you know, to my surprise, people are actually sending something to our way. So if we can get anything for it, then we should do it. And that takes me to Kenyon Drake being released. I don't know if it's official 100% yet, but it is going to happen in the near future. And this is a surprise to me because we didn't trade him. He was probably the best player out of the three, out of Tyree Gillespie, Nick Mullins, and Kenyon Drake, but we couldn't find a trade partner in Kenyon Drake. Now, he is a running back, and we did owe him, I believe, $3.6 million. So to cut him, we lose that money. Now, this is a John Gruden player. He has no attachment to Josh McDaniels or Dave Ziegler or anybody in this regime so much. So the fact that we go ahead and cut him and just go move on with one of these younger running backs isn't going to be – much of a surprise because they've been showing out a lot. Now, Amir Abdullah is a veteran guy that is going to be here with us. Surprisingly, Brandon Brown actually leads the league in rushing yards right now currently with only two games under his belt, just like the rest of the league. So it's not like he played all three. He played two games, and it's going to be surprising to see the way this running back room shapes up. The running back room is full of talent, so we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. But the third thing I wanted to bring was Jordan Jenkins is going to IR. Jordan Jenkins was the guy that came in just on Saturday to put debut and show what he has to do for the Raiders and actually add to this depth because, as we know, we've been hurt in that depth part and the depth pieces of the edge defenders. And he goes down with the ACL, unfortunately, because I feel like he was going to be a crucial piece. Some thought he was a preseason player, some guy that was just going to come in to be a camp body. But I thought otherwise. I really thought he was going to be able to come in, perform, have some veteran experience, and add to this defensive line to go along with Malcolm Coates. And he ends up getting hurt. So ultimately, we have to go out there and find another guy. And, you know, Tashaun Bowser is a name that a lot of people are bringing up. And ultimately – we should probably continue looking at him because he is on the team. He is showing up in the preseason, and he's familiar with this regime. Dave Ziegler is the original one that really brought him in, if you go back to Deshaun Bowser's uh, original team with the Patriots, and then Josh McDaniels is now the head coach. So there is some familiarity there. So we'll definitely continue to keep track of what's going on in the edge position because we need that depth. Last but not least, definitely not least, is Isaiah Wynn with the New England Patriots, the right tackle, also could be considered a right guard, but I would consider him as a right tackle because that's what we need. That's what we've been talking about this entire offseason is who is going to be at that right tackle position. Isaiah Wynn would come in and automatically be that number one guy on the right side, in my opinion. Now, he has suffered some injuries over his career, but I think if we're able to bring him in and he's able to stay healthy, he will be a dominant piece. Now, his contract is around 10 point. Ten and a half million dollars, I believe, and we would have to pick that up from the Patriots. So that's something to definitely consider. I don't know if we have that cap space um, because there is small talks about we might need to save that just in case 
we go down the line in the season and we need somebody to bring in and have a little bit of extra cash flow. So it'll be surprising to see how everything works out for this Raiders team. Again, Nick Mullins was traded for a seventh round, conditional seventh round pick to the Vikings. Kenyon Drake is going to be released, if not already released by the time this video comes out. Jordan Jenkins goes down on IR and Isaiah Wynn is on the trading block. And if you guys are interested in going out to spend that kind of money and take some chances on a right tackle on Isaiah Wynn, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that situation. Or would you guys rather just have Jermaine Illuminor step up and be that guy? Because he's familiar with this regime as well. Let's not forget he played in place of Isaiah Wynn or Trent Brown, I believe it was, when uh, they had some issues at right tackle when Josh McDaniels was there. So, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And if you guys can, make sure to hit that like button again. Also, subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. And don't forget to check out Redemption Brand if you want to stay fly. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Y'all know what it is, man. Until next time, ready to take.